It's the OCG Fam Show. Does adding microbes affect your soil pH? And is it affect or affect? I can never keep those straight. Grammar. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Garden. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Speaking of the comments, Vloop had a question uh, that we answered in the comments just the other day. We were talking about chronic low pH in your soil and how to deal with it and how to figure out what's going on. And uh, today, I want to expand a little more on that because as we were talking about that, we went through some things you can do with some dry amendments and a flushing and a figuring out your water situation, those sorts of things. But right after we talked about that in that viewer questions episode that I pulled that clip from, we talked just a little bit uh, about microbials, um, adding microbes to your to your soil and rich microbial life already in your soil that you developed in your soil using that or some teas or some uh, Photo Plus, that sort of thing and if and how that affected uh, pH. And I don't think we came to any conclusions, but it was an interesting conversation. So I'd like you to watch that and I'll talk to you after. Just messing with it. Come yeah. up with a different bun. We're not throwing it all at the at one time. Maybe the overwhelming load of fertilizer and the there's not a huge microbial field that's there to receive it or break it down. Or again, there's, you know, if it's building up or if you have so many inoculants, so many bacteria, so many fungi uh -huh. that you're putting in regularly, they all produce acids and they drop acidic, I mean, they, they release organic acids, which then will drop pH. Oh, okay. So, <coughs> so in an indoor environment, do your microbes regulate your pH or do they make it worse to some extent? Well, the, it depends on your You media. don't know what they yeah, are. There's yeah. a, again, there, here's, no, a, wait, here's this many variables yeah. and you want an answer. <laughs> there's not an answer to this many variables yet. So, but yeah, no, I, a lot of times when I see acidic soil, it's usually you got really good fungal mat going, you've got a really good bacterial field going, and they're digesting at a rate that's excessive, and that is your byproduct. So either flushing that out often or feeding them accordingly. Can you be feeding too much to your, this is an off-base question, can you be feeding too much to your plant, but you have such a great microbial field that they're eating it? And well, got, yeah, but if they're eating it, they're, they're converting it into a food. So I it's got a you. Yeah. And more than that eating thing. I mean, if I put it in and I'm feeding the plant isn't eating it, the microbes are eating it all, it doesn't go away. They just convert it into plant-ready stuff. That's a good reason to have the microbes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you think of that? Was that interesting? Did you find that helpful? Uh, let me know about that in the comments. But also, uh, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about that. Uh, I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.